Yo, buddy. Yo, uh. Oh, you, you buried in snow out there? Uh, there's a little bit of snow. Uh, me and Barb were talking about it. I think I'm gonna sell the charger. It's uh, it's a little, little bit too much work for me. For real? Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, well, uh, what's your? That was, that was, that's a pretty big decision, man. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, I'm not that. I don't have enough skill for it, man. So it's got to go. I mean, you got, you know what it is? I mean, if she wants to go a different route or something like that, it's fine. I mean, I think you can muster your way through it a little bit, but... Nah, I already, I already made up my mind. It's gone. It's gone? No, that, that, no, no. That, that, no, no. I told you, they don't leave the family. We're, we're getting just something about that. Yo, come in! Come in! Bro, holy shit. I, I know you got in it, full asking price, man. Do I get it? Am I getting it? Fuck it, let's go load it up. All right, man. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So on today's little video, we are taking a little road trip. Going from the east coast to the west. And of course it's snowing out. Why wouldn't it? You sure we're not on the west coast? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Oh, okay. So let's jump in the, the uh, Jeep here and hopefully nothing too exciting happens. All right, well, here we are leaving New Jersey into our first state, heading into Pennsylvania. Gary, that was a little scary situation that we just ran into. Welcome where to Pennsylvania. Everything slid sideways. So, yeah, good times. Kevin, how's it uh how's it way back there? Um I uh, got a little nervous at one point. Yeah, yeah was a, that was definitely sketchy. <laughs> yep. Now I got a squishy seat. Yep. So, but we're out of New Jersey. So, uh, you know, I hear Pennsylvania's open container. Oh boy. So, um yeah. Get those Pepsi's open. Yeah, I'm going to get on that. Yeah. You really let me down, Eagles. You really let me down. Continue on I-95 South for 21 miles. Well, here we are. Just going into Delaware, and uh, yeah. Welcome to it, Delaware. Eh, snow hasn't Thank got you. any better. I think it's gotten worse, actually. Yeah, it's definitely gotten worse. But on a bright note, I think Delaware is an open container state. Oh, good. Man, we are just ripping through states. Welcome to Maryland. Anyone know what the uh, open container law is here? Uh, I believe it's open. Oh, sweet. All right, here we are crossing the Potomac River. Or Potomac, or whatever it is. Kevin, how's the zip code back there? Uh, pretty good. I know you're pretty far away because you can't yeah. hear us. You uh, can't hear. I'm still in New Jersey. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. There is being a trooper with this snow and ice and slush and skinny ass roads. And uh, we should be in Virginia right about now, as soon as we hit landfall here. Let's see, let's see. Welcome there to it Virginia. Is. Virginia's for lovers. Whoa. What's yeah. Oh, I don't even have to Google uh, the open alcohol thing here. We're good. Damn it. We missed it. Well, now we're in West Virginia. We're in Virginia for about 20 seconds. They don't have an open container law. Oh, sweet. All right, so uh, right, West there's... Virginia was uneventful, but... Now we are going back into Virginia, and we all know their laws. So I don't know how long we're in this, but we'll find out. Losing time, I'm fading fast. I just wanna make it last. Try to let go of the past. I close my eyes, embrace the blast. Sleepless nights and headaches stack. Restlessness to hell and back. What's my purpose? What do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack. And sometimes you just gotta believe. There's something that'll give you relief. There's something that'll have what you need. What you need We're broken 
broken, it's tragic We're not all elastic But maybe there's magic, believe Alright, this is bullshit 7.30 at night Bullshit, because we're still in Virginia Big fucking state, right? Big, uh, bigger than we thought Yeah, and uh, <laughs> it's still snowing But we're almost in Tennessee So, woohoo Let's continue oh, It's like fucking, I feel like I'm in the Millennium Falcon We are Pretty much here we are, the Volunteer State. It welcomes us. We just crossed into Tennessee at 7.50, day one. Let's continue on. All right, here we are, day two. We're starting off at Bucky's in, I think we're in Pigeon Forge. So uh, nothing exciting, finally. No snow coming down, but it's everywhere. So we're gonna run in here, get stocked up, and get on the road. Cool store. Never actually been in one. All right, so here we are starting off day two on our uh, cross country road trip. And uh, since Bucky did such a great job guarding the car last night, we brought him back to see his cousin. And uh, yeah, the car uh, gets a lot of attention, even on a trailer. Kind of makes me wish I think I should have just kept it and drove it around on a trailer. So everywhere we stop, pretty much uh, people are going up, taking pictures, asking about it. See, right now, Kevin has someone, someone's attention. So yeah, we're gonna get on the road and uh, keep on trekking. How's yes, Bucky doing? Oh, we got more Jersey people. And, and their, uh, yep. this is their card. Okay. What's the name there? Solar's Autos Pizzerias. In Hoboken, Hoboken, okay. Hoboken right? Yep. You're a little bit north of us. But yeah, Bucky did a good job guarding the car, so. Yeah, he, he just put his teeth out at her. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, so. Yeah, this is going to go under restoration now. It's beautiful. Yeah, it will be. Yeah, it will be. <laughs> Oops. Always a good time when it's 11.30 and it's uh, 7 degrees outside. Yeah. It's only going to get warmer. You could have it and I know of sadness, the anxious and panic, the infinite vastness of all that is blackness. Finally made it to the Mississippi River. Jerry, how did you uh, how did you enjoy your day in ten Tennessee? Um, that was what about 550 miles oh. of yeah, Bristol to Memphis. Yeah, we started at the tip and went to the shaft. <laughs> yeah, that was, uh, that was a good time. I'm pretty much done with uh, with Tennessee myself. Mississippi River. The old mess. Oh, here's your yep. Arkansas sign. Finally out of Tennessee. Welcome to Arkansas. I'm pretty sure the state law here is you have to have a beer as a driver. I think so. Because I, I think I'm going to grab one myself. As a driver. <laughs> Sun's getting real low. But on the bright side, it is 19 degrees out now. So it really warmed up. <laughs> so let me get on this. happening Kevin is really sweating and I am not allowed to navigate no more because the fuel gauge doesn't even have miles on it it just says low 
Apparently it goes to low after you reach under 25 miles, and that happened at least 20 miles ago. I have two, actually so. I have two warnings here. There's two. Oh, yes. Oh, two, there's a couple warnings. Two gas things. Yeah, we don't know what's going on here. But there's a gas station. See, Kevin? I told you not to sweat it. It's all downhill from here. Yeah. You only have to push a little bit. As we coast down. I don't know. <laughs> Welcome to Oklahoma, where I have not been since, God, 1986. I think that's when I moved out of here. Wow. So. Many, many moons ago. Let's burn through this bitch. Okay, okay Jerry reminded me about uh, the open container laws in Oklahoma. So, I think we're good. It was basically don't get caught. Alright, here we are, day two. We are in beautiful Oklahoma City, about a thousand miles from our destination. I don't think we're going to make it tonight, but everything's going well. We had a suspension issue with the Jeep, but it went away, so we're open for the best. Everything else is locked down. We just got out to check it all, and uh, I don't know, maybe it was just the road. We'll see when we get back on the road, though. So we'll check in in a little bit. Welcome to Texas. We don't open carry is legal here, so yes. anything goes. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain Some things are not the same as they were a year ago But all will be okay, I move on each and every day The past is where it stays, way back a year ago I've changed for the better this time I thought I would never be fine I strive just to say I'm alright And for the first time in a long time I'm alright I've seen a lot of change Been through a lot of Hey yeah, look, more turbines Shocker Welcome to New Mexico all right, guys. One that, more state. That, that truss is uh, in the Mexican yeah, thing. Yeah, it's the, it's oh, the big one. Oh, well, what the hell was that sign? The sign was screwing with me. Last time I was in New Mexico was like 45 years ago. It's been a minute. Wow, that's a nice sign. Yeah, it is. You can actually read this one. Land of enchantment. All right. state for this leg of the trip. Welcome to Arizona. <laughs> and we only have, uh, I don't know, 348 miles to go. So we get off and then another 20 miles. And it's 6.40 at night. And Jerry's like, fuck that, I'm seeing my dogs today. Well, after a long 17-hour drive yesterday, the Joe Dirt Daytona has finally made it back to Havasu. How so, many hours do you think we put in that? Put in what? 
been driving. It was three days. Yeah, uh, I was. Oh god, I don't know, thirty something, close to forty. Okay, so plans for this car, Kevin. Well, we're in Arizona right now. We left Jersey, and we had three grueling days of driving: snow, rain, everything that you could throw at us, and uh, we made it. Thanks to my girlfriend, who is a bruiser of a driver. Yep. Yes. She did everything except for one hour. <laughs> yeah, you could. Yeah. yeah. Kevin, did, Kevin did the hour to yeah, Starbucks. That one hour of time I did it was like the icing on the cake. We made up a lot of time. We did, absolutely. Yeah. Of course, it's raining. So it's raining. Story it's of our trip. Sunny. Yeah. Lake Havasu. Never rains in Havasu. So you're asking, what's what's the what's the uh, um, Plans Game. with this. Well, obviously I'm gonna make it better. We're getting rid of the orange. Sorry. Yeah. Bo and Luke fans. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's already it's, better because it's out of my garage. That gives me room for another yeah, project. It also says cross country garage YouTube channel on it. Could have did that a long time ago. And follow us, you know. So the first uh, step is gonna be getting all the uh, rust out of this thing, and uh, which is gonna first thing is going to be assessment so I'm going to take all the interior out see what we have to work with kick the rest of the floors out kick the floors out Scott walked through the floor that was pretty cool and then um, start getting parts AMD guess what can we, we hit get you a up sponsorship we are I am gonna probably involve the uh, Lake Havasu City auto shop high school auto shop class and help instruct doing uh, metal work on cars. So, kind of a cool thing to do. Um, so far as the build, um, I'm gonna be very basic right now. I wanna keep the car as stock as I can, and I wanna use driver quality parts. I'm not building a show car out of it. I'm not building it to flip it, but right now I'm gonna do what I can afford to get it to look good going down the road. It's got the 440 in it. I want to see what's going on with that engine. I may try to fire it in there, hot wiring it and getting it all um, lubricated in there so it doesn't get all screwed up. So, and then the interior, I'm going to keep that stock. So we will have more updates. Um, this car is going to have to have a lot of hands laid on it. So I will make Scott and Barbara proud, you know. But yeah, so, I mean, that's pretty much going to do it. I mean, that'll, that'll wrap up our cross-country road trip. And uh, now we're going to go jump in the garage, get working on another project that you'll see yep. very, very shortly. Yeah, stick around and you'll see. So get off your butt and get some stuff done because your projects aren't going to get done by themselves. Have a good one.